what if a zombie outbreak started tomorrow? No warnings, no time to prepare. One moment, life is normal. The next, chaos erupts in the streets. The news flashes images of mindless creatures tearing through crowds. The government scrambles to respond. Supermarkets are looted within hours. Social media is flooded with desperate pleas, but cell towers go dark soon after. Would you survive? Let's break it down. At first, most people wouldn't believe it. The idea of zombies belongs in movies and video games, not real life. Reports of people attacking others and not going down after being shot sounds like another bizarre news cycle. But once hospitals overflow with the infected and emergency broadcasts take over TV screens, reality sinks in. That's when the real panic begins. Most people's first instinct would be to run. To where, they wouldn't know. Cities would collapse into chaos. Traffic jams would clog every major highway. Airports? Useless. Military? Overwhelmed. And anyone hoping the government has a secret zombie response plan is in for a brutal disappointment. Let's talk infection speed. If the virus spreads through bites, it depends on how long it takes before someone turns. If we're looking at the classic, you get bit, you've got minutes scenario, the world is toast. No chance to contain it. But if there's an incubation period, say, a few hours or even days, some people might make it out of major population centers before things go fully off the rails. So where's the best place to go? Cities are instant death traps. Too many people, too many ways to get cornered. If you're lucky enough to be in a rural area, your odds are better. But here's the thing, isolating yourself isn't enough. You need supplies, food, water, medicine. Most grocery stores carry about three days worth of stock before they're wiped clean in a crisis. After that, it's whatever's left behind. And then there's the biggest problem, other survivors. People like to think they'd be the hero in a zombie apocalypse, the cool-headed leader, the master of survival. But let's be honest, most wouldn't last a week. Desperation does ugly things to people. When food runs out, kindness goes with it. Your biggest threat might not even be zombies. It's the people fighting over the last can of beans. Weapons would be essential. Guns seem like the obvious choice, but think about it. Ammo runs out. A baseball bat never does. Same with a crowbar. Plus, silent weapons are always better. A gunshot draws attention. A machete keeps things quiet. But let's say you do everything right. You get out of the city, you stock up, you avoid other survivors. Now what? Long-term survival isn't about fighting zombies. It's about staying alive when the world no longer works the way it used to. Do you know how to grow food? Purify water? Keep warm in freezing temperatures? If not, well, good luck. And then there's the bigger question. What kind of zombies are we dealing with? If we're talking classic slow walkers like The Walking Dead, we've got a fighting chance. But if we're up against World War Z sprinters, we are done. There's no outrunning that. Just accept your fate and try to make peace with the universe. Let's not even get into the possibility of mutations. What if some zombies are faster, stronger, smarter? What if they learn? And let's talk about the worst case scenario. The virus mutates so that everyone who dies, no matter how, turns into a zombie. Now, even if you never get bitten, you're not safe. If your buddy has a heart attack, zombie. You die peacefully in your sleep? Zombie. No one makes it out of that world. But say, by some miracle, people do survive. What happens next? Governments would fall. New factions would rise. Some would try to rebuild civilization. Others, not so much. A world with no rules means people make their own. Would humanity pull together? Or would we tear each other apart? There's also the question of a cure. If the virus is biological, there's a slim chance someone, somewhere, could develop a vaccine, but that takes time. Time we probably wouldn't have. If the outbreak is supernatural, well, let's just say we're in trouble. And finally, the real question, would you even want to survive? A world where every day is a fight, where trust is a luxury, where there's no guarantee tomorrow will come. Some might choose to go down swinging, others might decide it's not worth it. But for those who do fight, what's the end game? Do you keep running? Do you build something new? Or do you just try to survive long enough to see how the story ends? One thing's for sure, if a zombie outbreak started tomorrow, most of us wouldn't make it. But hey, maybe you'd be one of the lucky few. Or maybe you'd just be dinner. And if you made it this far without turning into a zombie, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Who knows? The apocalypse might not happen tomorrow, but at least you'll be prepared for whatever comes next.